Electricity became most widely used for electric lighting. The discovery of the electric arc encouraged scientists to use it for lighting. Technical implementation of this idea was connected with the problem of regulating the distance between the electrodes of the arc as they were burning down. Invention of an original design of the arc lamp by Pavel Nikolaevich Yablochkov marked the widespread use of electricity for lighting. The Yablochkov candle represented two cold terminals separated by a thin plate of a poorly conductive material, for example, kaolin or gypsum. Evaporating under the influence of an electric arc, coals are attached to the terminals of the current source, and an arc is formed between them. First, Yablochkov applied cold sticks for arc ignition. The stick was held in the hand by an insulating handle and applied to both extremities of the coals when electrical current transmission starts. Thus, the circuit is closed, coals are ignited, and then the cold stick is taken away. Then, for the same purpose, Yablochkov put a thin carbon bridge igniter at the end of the candle between the coals. The bridge burns down, burning the current transmission and causes formation of an electric arc between coal rods. While the coals are burning, the insulating layer between them is gradually evaporated. The coals stay at the same distance from each other and the entire burning time. They do not need to be moved either manually or by using any sophisticated devices. This design has been successful and the Yablochkov kennel has become widespread. Yet there was one drawback. The thing is that when working at a direct current, one coal of the candle burns twice as fast than the other. To avoid uneven burning of coals, Yablochkov made one of the rods thicker than the other. However, it is not so convenient and profitable. The solution to this problem was to use alternating current instead of the direct one to power the candle. In this case, both coals burn evenly.